So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this iPhone 5S versus iPhone 7 full video comparison. Now basically what I wanna do in this video, my intentions are to help you decide if you have an iPhone 5S, if it's worthy to upgrade to the iPhone 7 or if you're a person who has a lump sum of cash or you're trying to upgrade or you're just trying to get an iPhone and you're thinking, should I go on the used market, drop a little bit of money and try out iPhone for the first time on an iPhone 5S? Or should I just sell everything like my other Android phones or whatever phone I have and just go all out and go with the hottest phone on Apple's market right now, the iPhone 7. And well, hopefully this video helps you out. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about these really quickly here. So this is the iPhone 5S, it's from 2013. I'm only gonna lay out the key specs here. 2013, eight megapixel rear facing, or rear camera here, dual tone LED flash, 1.2 megapixel front facing camera here, both very solid eyesight cameras there on the iPhone 5S. Metal construction body, which feels very nice in the hand. I do have a TPU case on it right now, but feels very nice in the hand. The first iPhone with a fingerprint scanner. Apple A7 chip brought the first 64-bit architecture in an iPhone. This has one gigabyte of RAM and it is clocked in at 1.3 gigahertz. Now the iPhone 7 is currently, as the recording of this video, the latest iPhone. This has has an Apple A10 Fusion chip that's a quad core CPU with two high power cores, highly optimized, and two lower power cores, which are made for more everyday tasking. So the higher power cores will come into place when you're exporting videos, you're doing heavy gaming, or just heavy multitasking on the iPhone 7. You do have two gigabytes of RAM here on the smaller model, three gigabytes if you decide to go with the iPhone 7 Plus here. This is clocked in at 2.34 gigahertz, but it doesn't seem to run a whole gigahertz faster than the iPhone 7 is, your, or the iPhone 5S as you're gonna see in this video. 12 megapixel eyesight camera on the back here with an f1.8 aperture. It's something like f2.2 here on the iPhone 5S, so pretty much a, a wider opening for letting light into the shot here. It does look like you have a quad LED flash here on the iPhone 7 with a color spectrum sensor as well as no headphone jack here on the iPhone 7 and you do have a 750 display that is DCI-P3 gamut, color gamut, which basically just means it's cinema grade on the display. 4.7 inch display here, four inch display here, and a seven megapixel front facing camera, water resistant and dust resistant, second generation touch ID scanner with a new Taptic engine here in the home button. And pretty much that 6S design with a little bit different here with the antenna layout down here on the bottom. Now it goes under, which is a more seamless design. If you ask me, it doesn't come across here. And the camera bump is a little bit different. But other than that, pretty much a similar design to the six series from 2014. So let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time here in three, two, one. And of course, the iPhone 5S showed first here, but let's see who gets to the home screen first. That's what really matters. It doesn't matter who shows the Apple logo first. It's just, it matters who gets to the home screen first iPhone 7 with that a 10 fusion chip should be there first. And you're going to see it is there first. So both of these iPhones that I am talking about throughout this video are showing the same iOS 10 version. So throughout this, you're gonna find the same iOS 10 version while we're waiting on the 5S. You can see iOS 10.0.1 14A403 here on the iPhone 7, which is nice stuff there. So let's wait a little bit on the iPhone 5S and let's see what happens here when that gets booted up. So yeah, iPhone 5S here, you can see, let's go into settings here. And let me go into general. So it did take quite a bit more time to boot up on the iPhone 5S, but how often do we really boot our devices up? You can see 10.0.1 here on the iPhone 5S. So let's come back home here and just kind of close out the applications. Let's hop into some applications and see how much faster this iPhone 7 is over this iPhone 5S. So let's go into calendar. And I missed it on the first tap. Let's go into calendar. And you can see iPhone 7 there first. And because of this taptic feedback button where you have to use your fingerprint instead of the physical press, it does go home quicker as I've been mentioning in some of my previous videos with this iPhone 7 so far. So let's go into camera and you can see it looked like the iPhone 5S opened quicker there. Let me know in the comments. Now let's go ahead and take some photos. About the same on the photo taking to be honest here. Let's do burst. 
bursting looks like they're dead even on the bursting so in terms of scrolling through the camera user interface about the same there going through the general ui of both these devices a little bit snappier a little bit smoother here on the iphone 7 but is it so much smoother that you're going to notice this if you're not comparing them side by side not at all so let's go into clock here and you can see very close i would give the slight nod to the iphone 7 let's do that again come out let's do that one more time yeah a little bit faster there on the iphone 7 let's go into weather 3d touch was enabled let me open weather to make that fair now let's do weather see you could see about the same there about the same there let's go into the app store on both let's see what happens here iphone 7 first slightly behind is the iphone 5s let's go into an app iphone 7 first slightly behind is the iphone 5s so you can see that the iphone 5s is still a champ of a performer here in the year of 2016 and i did a should you buy my iPhone, an iphone 5s in 2016 you might want to check that video out up here in a card or down below let's go into amazon really quickly here and let's see which one gets there first well, it looks like the iphone 7 took the cake here on amazon by quite a good shot there so i'm not going to sit up here and tell you that the iphone 5s is exactly the same speed you see a little glitch there on ebay let's go back and try that again i don't know if that was human error <laughs> or if that was the iphone's error so let's just do that one more time let's see so ebay much quicker here on the iphone 7 over the iphone 5s but is it so much quicker that it's going to really change your life in the day-to-day -day experiences i don't think so they're pretty similar in terms of the software yeah you get stuff like raise to wake on the iphone 7 which you don't get on the iphone 5s i know that's frustrating a lot of users because that's a feature that doesn't even require 3d touch you do get stuff like live photos here as you can see live wallpapers here on the iphone 7 you do get stuff like 3d touch but these are like luxury features i compare this akin to like say you go and get let's just i'm gonna think of a car a kia optima so let's say you're going in a kia dealer and you want to buy a kia optima the nba's car blake griffin jumped over it <laughs> so let's say you want to buy that or you see the other kia optima but you got a choice between the kia optima the base model comes in at 25 grand or you can get the kia optima sx model which is a sportier model with more features has a little bit more speed you got the v6 engine and that's going to run you about 30 35 grand so that's pretty much how I look at these phones. I mean, this is basically the standard model now iPhone, even though it's a few years old. this is a basically a standard iPhone that gets the job done, um, very efficient. And this is like the sportier model that costs more money, you know, has a few more features here and there, but overall, both of them are gonna get the same job done at the end of the day. Now, if you're somebody who's active, you're in water a lot of the time, the iPhone 7 can't be beat because if you drop the iPhone 5S in water, good luck. You're gonna mess something up on the iPhone 5S. You can actually drop this phone in water. But this headphone jack has been really getting on my nerves because I don't really wanna, I don't really like plugging stuff into the lightning port and Bluetooth does kill some battery, but we'll talk more about my thoughts and opinions and experiences with no headphone jack in the full review. And I do like having a headphone jack, which by the way, sounds really good from the iPhone 5s it sounds very sharp from the 5s now let's open up a couple of games here on both of these devices temple run and you can see i gotta go to main menu there same here but you can see the iphone 5s was slower there i want to do that one more time because they both went to the main menu but let's do that one more time temple run and you could see iphone 7 was there first i tapped the 5s first but the iphone 7 was there first both very smooth once they get into gaming. Although I did find in MC5 that the iPhone 7 even loaded it faster, but during actual gameplay of the iPhone 7 on MC5, it was a lot smoother. I seen some more frame rate drops here on the 5S when we were doing that here. So I'm not gonna go in and play MC5, but it does load quicker here on the iPhone 7. Once again, is it so quick that it's gonna change your life? Absolutely not. So, what is the moral of the story here between the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 7? I'm hoping that you can see throughout this video that if you decide to go ahead and get the iPhone 7 
over your iPhone 5S. Now, if you get a deal, like say you're on a carrier contract or something, you got a jump program such as the T-Mobile jump program, or if you're getting some kind of promotion deal where you're getting a hell of a deal on the iPhone 7, I think you're gonna be very happy with the upgrade. But if you're somebody like me who goes out and buys these phones for retail, like 750 bucks, 800 bucks for the iPhone 7, and you have an iPhone 5S, which is valued at like 150 to 250 right now, I think that you're gonna feel like this was not really worth the money because it's a very almost identical experience with a slightly upgraded camera. For example, you could keep your iPhone 5S and if you really want a good camera, you can go out and buy a DSLR for cheaper than an iPhone 7 and probably, you know, a little few accessories to go with it, a bag, a tripod, all kinds of stuff to go with it for cheaper than one iPhone 7 and keep your 5S for at least one more year until you can, uh, till the iPhone 8 comes out or the 7S model comes out. Now, once again, as I've been saying in my recent videos, I'm not trying to bash the iPhone 7. All I'm saying is that this is just a refined version of Apple's iPhone 6S, Apple's iPhone 6. It's not really an upgrade that, you know, it's going to change your life in many ways. You know, I think it's going to be great if you're a pro photographer, like if you do photography work, the iPhone 7 will be a nice upgrade if you use your phone for everything. So if you're a power user, your phone is your only device that you can use. The iPhone 5S can still work for power users, I think even today, but the iPhone 7 will be the better power user device. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. I don't wanna speak no more on these two devices. You know my thoughts. My thoughts are, is it worth the money over the iPhone 5S? I'd say yes, it's a great upgrade, but would I buy, would I spend $700 unlocked for this? No, I would only get the iPhone 5S if I'm going to get one heck of a deal on some kind of carrier plan or something like that, maybe an upgrade program, go for trying to get a deal. If you wanna get the iPhone 5S, I would recommend trying to get a deal on it because full retail, it's not worth full retail over the iPhone 5S. Just my personal take, iPhone 7 is an awesome device. I love this device. I think you guys will too if you decide to get one, but I also love this iPhone 5S. It's still, still a great little baby right there. So let me know your thoughts on this one. Hope this helped you out in your research on if you wanna buy an iPhone 5S or if you wanted to upgrade from a 5S to an iPhone 7 or if you wanted to try out iPhone for the first time, didn't wanna drop the full retail on the iPhone 7 and you wanna go get an iPhone 5S. Hope this helped you out in making one of those decisions. Go ahead and drop your opinions, comments down below in the comment section. I like to hear them. We could talk about them down below. And uh, look out for some more iPhone 7 coverage on this channel. Got the full review coming, got the camera review coming. The more in-depth content is coming soon. Just wanted to knock out these comparison videos really quick because these are important as well. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. Have a great night, great day. Whatever time zone you're in, have a great night. Be sure to be well and peace.